Hey, this is Marco, and in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to create a voice to voice assistant. But before I show you how to do that, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. So, before I start with it, let's understand the basics. So, AI Assistant, also known as Virtual Assistants or Chatbots, are software programs enabled by artificial intelligence. They are designed to perform various tasks and provide answers to user queries. The capabilities of these assistants can range from simple commands like setting alarms or providing weather updates to more complex functions such as natural language processing and machine learning. So there are a few types of AI assistants. So we have chatbots. Basically, they're an AI assistant that interacts with the user to chat interface. Voice assistants such as Siri, Google Assist and Alexa operate through voice commands. AI avatars are graphical or animated representation of AI assistants. And then you have specialized virtual assistants. They are designed to provide support in specific industries or tasks. Now, why should you create your own AI assistant? Well, you can uh, be personalized with it. So creating your own AI assistant offers a remarkable advantage, which is personalization. Unlike generic AI solutions, you, your assist uh, can be customized to meet your specific needs, preferences and tasks. Next, we have increased efficiency. As highlighted in recent report on McKenzie, AI-driven automation has a potential to enhance business efficiency by a notable margin of up to 20%. Then we have custom solutions, learning opportunity and data privacy. Now let's start with how to create your own from scratch. So first you want to define your AI assistant's purpose. So what problems will your AI assistant solve? What tasks will it perform? Who is the target audience for your AI assistant? Second is to choose the right technology stack. Selecting the right technology stack is a critical decision that depends on your technical expertise and the specific capabilities you want your AI assistant to possess. So you can choose from NLP, which is natural language processing, for AI assistant to comprehend and generate human uh, language. Then machine learning libraries. If your AI assistant needs machine learning capabilities, utilize the libraries like TensorFlow and Python, Torch is essential. And then voice recognition and synthesis. So to enable your AI assistant to handle voice commands and deliver voice responses, you can explore libraries such as CMU, Sphinx and Google Text to Speech. Then step three is to collect and prepare data. Now, to effectively train your AI in understanding and generating human language, it's crucial to have access to extensive data set. You can collect data from multiple sources such as public database or web scraping. Then the step four is pro pre-processing and data cleaning. Once acquired, the data is essential to pre-process it. This involves cleaning and organizing the data to ensure its stability for training. Pre-processing tasks typically include token uh, text tokenization and removing stop words. Step 5 is training your AI assistant. Training your AI-powered assistant involves utilizing advanced machine learning models to educate it on how to comprehend and effectively respond to user input. The specific steps may vary based on the technology stack chosen, but generally involve finding your pre-processed data into the model, fine-tuning the model on specific tasks, evaluating the model's performance and making improvements. Then we have step 6, which is design the user interface. The user interface UI is a libchip for the effectiveness on your assistant, serving as the control center that ensures smooth interaction. <coughs> so you can do conversational flow, design a flowchart that maps out conversation journey of your assistant, considering various user inputs or user experience. Your goal, your main goal should be creating a user-friendly and intuitive assistant that provides seamless experience for your audience. Step 7 is to implement voice recognition, which is optimal. Now at this stage, if you want your assistant to understand voice commands, it requires implementing a voice recognition system compatible with the specific technology stack you have selected. Step 8 is testing and debugging. It's crucial to conduct real testing to ensure your assistants perform accurately and provide anticipated responses. This involves trying different inputs, including edge cases, and addressing any issues that arise to maintain proper functionality. Stage 9 is deployment. 
After you have finished deploying and testing your AI assistant, the next step is delaying it to the reach your target audience. The specific deployment methods may vary depending on the chosen platform. Whether through a website or standalone app, the key is to ensure that your AI-powered assistant effectively reaches and engages with its intended users. Step 10, which is the final step. Now, the job isn't finished yet. Once you deploy your assistant, monitoring its performance and collecting user feedback is vital to ensure it remains up to date and provides value. Leverage these insights consistently to improve and broaden your AI assistant functionalities in accordance with user engagement and evolving trends. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe.